the UFC has shown absolutely no interest in trying to legitimize their sport. They would prefer to be on the outside. They would prefer to be on the fringe based on how they treated Ariel Elwani and how they have removed his media credentials after UFC 199. They removed it because he did his job. He reported the news. There was a problem with them leaking the information, but really the problem should come from the leaker rather than the leak E. Elwani is just doing his job. It is petty, unethical, and pathetic that Zufa and the UFC have removed his credentials. Because when you really think about it at the end of the day, whether you like it or not, the UFC is essentially the governing body for their sport. I don't care about Bellator, World Series of Fighting, etc. The UFC is at the pinnacle, at, the, at a, such a large degree that they really are the de facto governing body of their sport. They are the faces of their sport. They are the world's view of mixed martial arts comes from the UFC, whether they like it or not. The fact that Elwani did his job, got ex- got escorted out of the building, and was ex- escorted out of the building in a way where he couldn't actually complete the rest of his job by doing a, a post-fight report after the, the Bisbing win, it shows a huge negligence to the sanctity of their sport the respect level of their sport to take out one of the most respected members of the media in their sport like that it is a shame the ufc should just go back on it give him back his media credentials and stop making what should have been a huge day even with the leaks when you consider the fact that brock lesnar is coming back to the ufc as all signs show, it could have still been a huge day for the UFC regardless, even if they weren't the ones who announced the news. Instead, that big news has been almost completely overshadowed via social media, news journalism, etc. by this event. The fact that they had banned Ariel Elwani like this. It is a shame. It should have been one of the biggest days for the UFC, and they completely destroyed a lot of goodwill. Going back recently, the UFC's deal with Reebok was initially met with praise from mainstream voices for its possible help in pushing the sport into the mainstream. It ultimately came under a firestorm of negative criticism for how it reduced the fighters' wages due to a change in sponsorship dynamics. The UFC didn't respond particularly maturely, especially from their president, Dana White. Perhaps the sport, in and of itself, has outgrown Dana White and may not need him realistically. People who command this level of respect or praise for their journalistic integrity, regardless of what they are reporting are, are for few and far between, and silencing these voices only hurt the growth of a sport and a supposed legitimization.